I think that Jake Foley is way better than Dempsey. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jake and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing zombies. Oh my god, surprise, I'm not coming in behind you and sneaking you with something else. Wink wink. But anyways, today we're going to be talking about more abilities found in Shadows of Evil given to us by the Black Ops 3 beta. So anyways, hear me out, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Also, share your support by leaving a like on today's video, really helps me out. Let's shoot for this amazing goal on screen, and let's get into today's video. So more abilities in Shadows of Evil. Now we know there's going to be tons of abilities. We know we already know about like three or four, which I'll talk about today's video, but we know that there's a good amount of abilities given to us by the gumball machine. We see through that clear little piece of shit that there is like 30 different colors in there. Probably not 30, but <laughs> there's a bunch of colors which symbolizes uh, more abilities, and I'm sure that there's some abilities that even have the same colors, so that's pretty interesting. But anyways, what are some more abilities that we picked up? So, we know, just to recap, that we know that there is an ability where you could duplicate your player um, to distract zombies. We know that there's a uh, ability... Oh god, I'm... Uh, oops. Sorry about that. Anyways, we know there's an ability where you get a free power-up, and we know there's an ability where you turn into the monster, and another ability where... Ah, uh, shit, what is, what is it? What is oh yeah, it? the ability where you could just have a red little explosion around you to kill the zombies, and we also see the girl disappear, so we know that she actually teleports when you activate this ability. So, I want to bring this to you guys' attention. The duplication, uh, the player duplication ability is actually in multiplayer as well, where you could activate your robot and you activate two other clones of yourself to distract other players on the other team. Then, there's a other similarity between multiplayer abilities to zombies. We see that that red little uh, explosion around the girl is also found in multiplayer, as also known as the gravity spikes, where you have to smash something on the ground and it kills everybody that is near you. So seeing these similarities, knowing that they take multiplayer abilities and bring it over to the zombies mode, we could assume that there is going to be a lot more abilities, not even in the zombies mode, but for multiplayer. And we see all the multiplayer specialists' abilities, and, uh, well, we could just think about how that could be incorporated into the zombies mode. I want to point out that Shadows of Evil is in the 1940s, so it's not going to be used in the same exact way. Now we see that the gravity spikes are actually a future, like, knives that you crush down into the ground, while in Shadows of Evil it's more, uh, mystery and magic of how it would happen. So, when it, it's incorporated into the zombies mode, it fits the timeline and the storyline as well of how it can happen. But there is 115 displacement which allows future weapons to be incorporated back into the past, so that could happen as well. But I believe that we're going to be seeing tons of the specialist abilities into the zombies mode in their own little kind of unique fashion. So, just for example, if the minigun or the reaper specialist is in the zombies mode, it wouldn't have a machine gun come out of his arm because that uh, he isn't a robotic soldier. He is a human being, so maybe he pulls out a minigun instead, an actual weapon that he has to shoot. That would be just my idea of how it happened. So, in conclusion, I believe that they're going to transfer some, maybe not all, but some of the specialist abilities from multiplayer into the zombies mode, changing them slightly to fit the time period as well as how it could happen. But I believe that there's going to be specialist abilities into the zombies mode. And uh, they're probably going to create their own unique ones for the zombies mode as well that we don't find in multiplayer, uh, obviously. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think about this idea in the comment section below. And also, leave a like if you did enjoy, and subscribe if you haven't seen my content already. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>